Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. So in this video, we'll talk about keyloggers. So before going further, let me ask you one question. So have you ever been tried to check that what's your friend or another person is doing in his computer? So your answer is keyloggers. So keyloggers are spyware or surveillance software which we can use in order to track our activity of a particular user. So with the help of keylogger, what we can do? We can record a keystroke that was the user typing in his keyboard and with the help of keylogger we can also take a screenshot of that system. So some keyloggers are very advanced and they are capable of recording internet history. So all we have to do is we just have to install a keylogger program inside the targeted system. So once we install the keylogger then we can monitor all the activity of a particular user and if you are a parent then I recommend you to please install keylogger in order to monitor that what's your child do on internet. So the keyloggers are available for Windows, Linux, Mac and nowadays keyloggers are also available for smartphones even for iPhones also. Now let's see how we can install one keylogger named as KidLogger in our system. Now let's use KidLogger in order to capture screenshots, keystrokes as well as audio messages. Well we can download KidLogger from here from their official website that is kidlogger.net and this is the very handy keylogger I have ever used so let, let me just go here to download and this keylogger is available for Windows, OS, Linux, Android phones and even for Blackberry phones also so let me download it and it's a zip archive file and here you can see a zip file is created and here is the setup so the password of this keylogger is 12345 click on OK and let's just install this keylogger. And here you can see that the keylogger is installed. Now click on finish and here you will see that our keylogger will be launched. So this is the main menu of this keylogger. So you can capture the keystrokes of all the users by just selecting that user. So right now in my system there is only one user that is named as user. So you can see here. So let me just check this up and if I go here to options you will see the options or the things which we want to record or we want to capture so you can see that this will store a keystrokes means if I type anything in my keyboard that will get stored and then it will also take a record of USB removable insertions then it will also record a Skype chat and messages and then it will also take a snapshot or it will also store the browser history and the search phrases. So what else we can do is in order to protect this keylogger and if we want that nobody can't access this keylogger so we can also protect this keylogger application by clicking over here password protected keylogger and we can set a particular password. Then here you will see the output folder means where this keylogger stores the file. So this keylogger will store the file in local disk C, program files, kit logger and here is one directory called a logs and after 15 days all files will be deleted. So you can change some settings from here. So even you can connect this keylogger to your kitlogger.net account but for that you have to buy a premium subscription of this keylogger and by going here to sound recorder what we can do we can even record a sound of a particular user. So here is the option of screen capture. So what this screen capture will do? This keylogger will take a screenshot of a user's computers after a particular interval. So let me go here. Let me close this up and let's click on start monitoring. And here you will see that it sends the message. The keylogger has been activated successfully. So now I can close this keylogger. Now in order to verify, let me open notepad file. Let me just write here anything. We are being monitored. We are hacked. So just write down anything. Someone is watching us. So let me close this notepad file. Now, in order to see that whether this keylogger is storing our keystroke or not, what we can do is the f there are two things. The first thing is we can stop the keylogger and then we can check. On the other hand, we can directly go to that local disk C directory where the keylogger is actually storing all the stuff. So it's program files and here is a directory called as kitlogger. So you can see here and here is that directory logs. 
So this key logger, kid logger, stores all the data in HTML file. So you can see here that a HTML file is created and here is the date. So let me open this file and here you can see that it's saying new session for user. So first of all it's displaying that what, what is the application that the user is using. So as we know that we have opened notepad so that's why they so that's why it's, list, it's listed here, notepad. Then here is the data which we have written. So you can see here. And then we have opened KidLogger. And then we have opened Mozilla Firefox. Then we have opened notepad. So this KeyLogger also take record of all the applications which are being run in that operating system. So at the top here you can see that we can also apply a particular filter. There are a lot of filters like if I click on application then it will list out all the application that is opened by user. So you can see KidLogger then run then notepad and even if I click on web it's nothing because we haven't opened anything yet but or if you are doing Skype chat then this key logger will also take a record of that Skype chat so you can just look at that mess uh, that Skype chat by clicking over here on messages but at this time there are no messages so let me select the by default option that is select type and here you will see all the stuff so this is how a typical key logger works and in this video we have discussed that what is key logger and what are different types of key loggers and how we can use kit logger in order to capture keystrokes. So thanks for watching this video.